So the, I'm Satoru Miyamoto. The, in this paper, the, uh, we present the time-resolved measurement of the single electron ratchet the, in the, using the single electron nanowire MOSFET. And uh, as you know, the single electron transfer and the manipulation devices have been attracting much interest in, since they are feasible for, on the basis of existing single electron technology. In principle, the, the, by transferring the single electrons one by one, the, we can produce any magnitude of current. So one of the applications is uh, the, <coughs> the current standard in quantum metrology. The single electron transfer can directly link to the relation between the frequency and the ampere. The, the, by, by through the experiment of the closing the, such a quantum metrological triangle, we can determine the, <coughs> the basic physical constant the, with a high accuracy. For this purpose, we need a two stringent criteria. One is a nanoampere level current. The secondary, the ultra high accuracy transfer with an error of the 10 to the minus 8 is needed. The, so far, the single electron transfer based on the so called turn style operation has been uh, proposed and demonstrated in a wide variety of the system, the gallium arsen quantum loop and the Shiko nanowire MOSFET and the superconducting island. So, this is a schematic diagram of the, the single electron turn style operation. The basically, the, by lowering the two side barrier, the alternately, we can the transfer the single electron from the left to right. Uh, recently, a Nobel transfer scheme uh, called the single electron ratchet has been proposed and demonstrated. Now, an AC pulse voltage is applied to the left side gate to form a time modulated barrier. And a lower steady barrier, a lower steady voltage is applied to the right side gate to form a fixed height barrier. Now, single electrons are captured from the left, you know, the, due to the sing, uh, single electron Coulomb block end. And uh, by lifting the bottom of the potential, the single electrons are ejected over the right side barrier completely. So, when the any electrons are conveyed from the left to the right in one cycle, we can produce the quantized current at the integral multiple of EF, where F is a gate operating frequency. Recently, we achieved the nanoampere level current by using the simple single gate operation. However, the transfer error is still large on the order, to the, or the, or the, on the order of the 10 to the minus 2, and the mechanism of the error involved uh, during the single electron capturing and the single electron ejection is not fully understood. So to in the, in order to comprehend the escape dynamics of the single electron, we perform the time-resolved measurement. We use the triple gate silicon nanowire MOSFET that fabricated on the silicon or insulator wafer. The three gates are eventually covered with a wide upper gate, and now the single electron from the source to the drain in this silicon nanowire channel. And the three lower gates act as a partition, and in the gap region between the lower gate, the double quantum that are electrically formed, and their potentials can be controlled mainly by the upper gate. And the device parameters shown here in detail. And the, now the, we focus on the rest of side quantum knot, not the double quantum knot. And that all experiments are performed at 16K. And uh, we actually measured the up current with a uh, pulse, pulsing and uh, off pulse train uh, the, to the left side gate, like this. This is the experimental result. As you can see, the clear quantum of the current plateau can be clearly observed as a function of the upper gate voltage, which is used for deepening the quantum dot potential. Now, the we note the current vertical axis showing the output current is equivalent to, to the, the <coughs> captured electron number <coughs> by normalizing the output current by EF. 
So on the quantizer plateau, the single electron number can be controlled to be around one, two, or three respectively. In this work, the important parameter is the gate of voltage and the gate of time. So this light lower figure shows the output current, the counterplot of the output current as a function of the upper gate voltage and also the gate of hope voltage. <coughs> the rainbow color shown before, rainbow color curve shown before is the corresponding to the scan along the dashed line. <coughs> now, as I mentioned before, the, when the upper gate voltage is set to around 7.3 volt, we can trap the, and uh, prepare the three electrons in the quantum dot. However, the number of the actually ejected electron is reduced from three to one by making a gate of voltage the negatively small. So the area of the n equal one that shows the <coughs> incomplete ejection of the electron. So one electron is transferred and contributed to the current, but two electrons are remaining in the quantum dot. If, uh, as, you, as you can expect, these remaining electrons can escape from the quantum dot if we wait for more time with the left side gate switched off. Now we can we define the lifetime for any escape event, event to occur in one circle as a tau n. Now the probability of the m electrons surviving in the quantum dot are uh, defined as a p, large pm. And uh, now we can, <coughs> we can describe the simple master equation like this, under this, this initial condition. By solving the, this master equation, we can obtain the time evolutionary form of the survival probability in each state. Finally, the average ejected electron number can be calculated from uh, calculated as an expected value of the escape probability, and uh, this it can be experimentally uh, measured as the output current normalized by EF. So here is the analytical result obtained when uh, three electrons are prepared initially in the quantum dot. So the in this work the Escape dynamics was investigated the <coughs> by changing the gate of voltage in a nanosecond regime. And we fix the gate of time at a 10 nanosecond. The, this figure shows the time resolved result of the num average number of the ejected electron at the different gate of voltage. This figure uh, is a typical time domain analysis they extract the extract at the certain gate of voltage. Please note, first and the second electrons are escape, escape from the quantum dot within around 10 nanoseconds. The, but the third electron can remain in the quantum dot for a relatively longer duration. <coughs> so by comparing the experimental plot with the theoretical curve shown here, so we determined the escape times of the first and the second and the third electrons. So I'd like to uh, add a comment on two remarkable features in this figure. The first, the escape times have an exponential dependence on the gate of voltage. So based on the, this exponential dependence, we can <coughs> reproduce the real the experimental result. Such an exponential dependence can be calculated the two different uh, escape process, this, that is the thermal excitation process and or quantum direct tuning. <coughs> this will be uh, discussed in the next slide. The secondly, the escape times have strongly depend on the time of the escape event. The Time difference, the first and the second, and the second and third electrons, is a one order of magnitude. 
So such a number selective ejection is attributed to the single electron charging effect in the, this potential. The, this is because the latter electrons experience additional energy by coulomb back gap energy of the several milli electron volt. Next, we investigate the temperature dependence of the escape rate, which is the inverse of the escape time. <coughs> in the temperature range from the 16K to the 28K. As you can see, the, as the temperature increases, the slopes of the escape rate with, against the gate of voltage decrease. In comparison to the lower figure, this behavior is consistently, uh, this uh, is qualitatively consistent with uh, the current, uh, uh, the temperature dependent current characteristic in the subsurface whole regime of the MOSFET. So in, at this temperature, we think the thermal excitation rather than the tunneling domin dominate the escape process. <coughs> Next, uh, we estimate the ejection accuracy from the escape probability. The lower figure shows the escape probability of the, <coughs> the, the first and the second and the third electrons. And the black line indicated a small p0 shows the, the escape probability of no electron. <coughs> and important that the, the quantized plateau, the escape probability of the unwanted, uh, unwanted number of electrons, pn minus one and pn plus one is uh, suppressed and the leading to maximize the nth escape event, <coughs> escape event probability. And uh, <coughs> so the, therefore, the optimal gate of voltage for ejecting the desired number of electrons exists here and here and here. In conclusion, we investigate the escape dynamics of a few electrons in the single electron ratchet through the time-resolved measurement. We found that escape times have a strong dependence on the electron number due to the single electron charging effect. This allows us to achieve the high accuracy ejection of the desired number of electrons. We believe the experimental results play an important role in the accuracy of the tra total transfer process, including the single electron capture. So thank you for your kind attention.